Welcome back. This is Mrs. Rewrite's Geometry class, and today we're learning Law of Signs. Please subscribe to our channel at rrewrite. R-R-U-B-R-I-G-H-T. <laughs> anyway, this is Law of Signs. So Law of Signs, all we have to do is the um, side is to the angle opposite it, as side B is to the angle B opposite it, as side C is to the angle um C opposite it. So it could either be like the side A over sine A is to B over sine B is to C over sine C, or you could do sine A is to the side opposite it. Sine A over A equals sine B over B, which equals sine C over C. Either way works. This will make sense once we start getting into these. So if we are looking to find AC, so we're looking for side AC, which we're going to call side B because it's opposite of angle B. So we're looking for this pairing right here. Did they give us anything that has a pair? The 118 does not have a side length. The 24 does not have an angle, but we can find that angle. Can't we find that angle? 24 goes with what <laughs> angle? 180 minus 118 minus 22. 118 plus 22? It's 140, so 40 more to get to 180. So we know that sine of 40 degrees goes with 24, and sine 22 goes with our unknown B. And at this point, it's just cross products and solve. So B times sine 40 equals 24 times sine 22. To get B by itself, we divide out the sine 40. <coughs> and we're left with B equals, pick up our calculator at this point, make sure you're in degrees, 22 sine times 24 equals, divided by 40 sine equals. And I got 13.9868, so on. And this one says to round to the nearest tenth. To the nearest tenth, the 8 makes the 9 a tenth, so we actually round it to 14.0. And that is our final answer. <coughs> Do you guys need to see this for another second? All right, let's do another one. All right, so we're looking for BC. BC is across from angle A, so we're going to call this side A. So your A goes with angle A. And then we need another match. So let's look. We have the 51 goes with an unknown side length. We have a side length that's 27, but we can find angle B, right? We have enough information to find angle B. So 180 minus 51 minus 39. That is 90 degrees. So, sine of 90 is to 27, as sine of 39 is to A. Cross products and solve. A times sine 90 equals 27 times sine 39. Divide by sine 90 on both sides. And you get that A equals, pick up your calculator, 39 sine times 27 equals, divided by 90 sine equals, 
and I got 16.99165 and so on. Rounded to the nearest tenth is going to actually end up being 17.0 because that 9 becomes a 10. So 17.0. Find BC. Well, BC is across from angle A, so we're going to call it side A. These two go together. All right, well, 16 goes with what degrees? Because 58 doesn't have a measurement, and we have to have um, only one unknown. So 180 minus 93 minus 58, 29. So if angle B is 29 degrees, now we can use that to have a perfect pair over here. So sine of 29 is to 16 as sine of 93 is to A. Cross products and solve. 16 times sine 93 equals A times sine 29. Divide by sine 29 on both sides, and you get that A equals whatever that is. So 93 sine times 16 equals, divided by 29 sine equals, and I got 32.9574. Rounded to the nearest tenth once again. The 9 becomes a 10, so we get 33.0. measure of angle C. All right, so if we're looking for C, this one we're looking for the angle. So we're definitely using C and 20, and then we need another pair. Am I going to use B and 24, or am I going to use 82 and 29? 82 and 29, because they're a perfect pair. We have two, both pieces of information. So sine of 82 is to 29, is to side length 29 as sine of C is to side length 20. Cross products and solve. So we have 29 times sine C equals 20 times sine 82. Divide by 29 to get sine C by itself. So now we have sine C equals 20 times sine 82 all over 29. Do you guys remember yesterday when we were learning about how to solve um, triangles, we learned that to solve for the angle, we have to use the inverse. So the inverse sine of 20 sine 82 over 29 equals angle C. So in my calculator, 82 sine times 20 equals divided by 29 equals and then at this point second sine the inverse sine and we get that c is approximately 43.0740 and so on rounded to the nearest tenth would be 43.1 degrees 43.1 degrees So right here, this angle right here is 43.1 degrees. So if we wanted to solve the whole triangle, we could find this angle just based on 180 minus those two would give you angle B, and then the whole thing would be done. Anytime I ask you to solve the whole triangle, they just want you to fill in every single piece of missing information. 
All right, let's take a look at number nine, the measure of angle A. So angle A is right here. And A goes with 11. <coughs> what else can we use? We can use the C with the 25, right? We could use 25 with the 129. Oh, wait, is the 129 in C? Where do you think that 129 goes, being that it's obtuse? That's definitely the B. Even though it's written more towards the C, it definitely has to be the B because that's the obtuse angle. So that actually is going to go with the 33. So you have to just be careful. Their pictures are not always great. Sine of 129 is to 33 as sine of A is to 11. Eleven times sine one hundred twenty nine equals thirty three times sine A. So to get sine A by itself, we're going to divide by thirty three on both sides. And then we're going to do the inverse. The inverse sine of eleven times sine one hundred twenty nine all over thirty three equals angle A. So, 129 sine times 11 equals, divide by 33 equals, second sine. I got 15.01362, so rather than the nearest tenth, it's just going to be 15.0 degrees. And this is how we do the law of signs. This worksheet is from CUDA. This is a um, CUDASoftware.com worksheet. It is a free Algebra 1 um, worksheet, or actually Algebra 2, on law of signs. Um, this curriculum is also covered in geometry, but that is where we um, got these problems from. So you can go to CUDASoftware.com to get more problems just like these. Um, once again, this is Mrs. Rubright with Advanced Geometry, and we hope you enjoyed our little mini lesson on the Law of Signs. Stay tuned to our channel. Please subscribe so that you can um, learn some more lessons right along with us. Our next lesson is going to be Law of Cosines. Hope you have a great day.